I started using OpenShot recently to do some video editing, and the one hurdle that it took me a while to get over um, was how to do cut and paste in OpenShot. And it's something that you really don't, you don't actually do cut and paste. I'm going to show you that in a minute. It's a different kind of semantic. If you're used to other media editing software like, say, Audacity, which I have up here, you're used to being able to, to click and grab to highlight an area and then do Control x to delete it and maybe even uh, put the cursor someplace else and reinsert it. That's not how OpenShot works, so I'm going to show you how it does work here, and hopefully it'll get you past a hurdle. It took me a, a little while to get past. I didn't see this in any of the other tutorials. Um, the people that were demonstrating it were using it almost as though it was a given that this is how all video software works, and maybe it is. This is my first, my first time using any kind of video editing. So here we have OpenShot basically as it comes up, and I've already imported a couple of files. I have an MP4 file here, a video of when I went out to inspect one of my beehives. And I have a, a, a graphic that I made here that's going to be our opening title. And this is just, I used this, I used Inkscape to make this, and it's just, it's a static graphic which it then turns into a video clip when you import it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, my clip here and put it down into track one. Um, and now what I would want to do, this is a very long one, um, if, I, if I scroll to the end of this thing here, I'll see that it's it's about it's nearly an hour long, and that's really way too long. I only want maybe about 10 minutes here. So how can I do that? How can I trim uh, the end of it off? If I use the the razor tool here, it does let me you know it does let me drop something in there and cut that, and then I suppose I could take the the selector tool again and then take this and I don't know dump it off somewhere. And but that's really not how this works. The way OpenShot works is you could think of these clips or the clips in these tracks as viewports into the entire clip. And what you're going to do is you're going to do use the resize tool to resize the size of that viewport. So let's say what I really want to do is I want to to say take from the first minute or so uh, and just have maybe from from minute one to about minute four, let's say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size of my um, reduce the resolution of my ruler here. So you notice here I've got the resolution down to 10 seconds. If you look at the large markings here, they're 10, 20, 30. So this controls the uh, the resolution on your ruler, right? Time starting at zero. So what I want to do is I want to start it at T plus one minute, which is right about here, and I'm going to go to T plus four minutes. All right, so here's your T plus whatever, T plus 10 seconds, T plus 20 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the resize tool and as I hover over my clip here, you notice what happens to the cursor. It goes from an arrow to, to a left pointing arrow pointing at the vertical bar. And this symbolizes an arrow pointing at the beginning end of the clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, and actually I can do this anywhere in here. If I grab this, and it'll actually put it there. Or I can just grab it and drag to the one minute mark. And if you look in the clip itself, if you look just to the right of the image at the top of the, the yellow bar there, you'll see where it, the time is changing. It's going, you see 59.35, 45, 65, 75. I'm trying to get it. That's probably about as close as to, close to one minute as I'm going to get uh, using the mouse here. So what I've done now is I've altered the viewport into the clip. The clip is still here in the entire track, but all you're going to see of it is whatever starting at one minute. If I move the cursor here, I'm not going to make you sit through the whole thing, but if I move the cursor there to about here to about 55 and I press, press go, notice you don't see anything until we get to the one minute mark and then boom, the video starts right where it started at one minute. And you say, well, that's great, but I want to start from time zero. Of course, you can do that. You come back, you use the selector tool to grab the track and you just move it over to time zero. And, and it will actually snap to the the right place there. I'm going to rewind this back to, to time zero. Oh, let me grab it some more. Back to time zero. And if I press play now, starting at time zero, it starts where I wanted it to start. Now I said I also wanted to shorten it, so what I need to do is go to the other end. Uh, I'm actually going to increase the resolution on this so that I've got more visible here. Scoot this over a little bit. I'm going to take the resize tool. I'm going to grab the end here and scooch this in down to the four minute mark. I'm going to have to do a couple of passes at this. Um, grab this again, move this down, 
there's six minutes there. Now I can increase my resolution on this. I don't know, back down to around 27 seconds. Um, if I come back up here, I should be able to uh, to bring this down. I grab the end, come down. There's my four minute and three mark right about there. And that'll be good enough for what we're doing here. So, and there's my whole clip. So I'm going from what was uh, one minute, now starting at zero. Um, now I'm going up to the four minute mark on the timeline, which is actually probably about the five minute mark on the, on the clip. So let me just do one more resize here and get that down to about to about three. Um, so three minutes, four minutes would be about 244. And notice here, the clip actually goes from from the 60 second mark to about the the 240 second mark, which is from minute one to minute four, which is what I wanted before. So that's still showing you what the absolute time is within the clip itself. But all you're seeing is this this three minute viewport in there. And sure enough, when I get to if I put the cursor here, when I get to to this, as soon as I get to the end of it, the clip will go away. And that's basically how we do the cut and paste. Now the cool thing is this. Let me stop this here and go back. Let's say I said, oops, I really didn't want that much of the clip to go. I, I want to put it back to maybe 40 seconds. Um, what I can do then, again, using the resize tool, I move this over a bit. I come to here. I grab it. And looking at where it says there's 58, 48, 46, 40, 42, and I've got it down to about... 39.94 there. So now what I've done is I've just increased that viewport. The clip was still there, but now I've increased um, the uh, the size of the viewport so that you could see, you know, it's only skipping the first uh, 40 seconds rather than the first minute. So I haven't actually cut anything. I've just altered the size of the viewport. And that's really how we do cut and paste with clips in OpenShot. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.